What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to the intro to episode number 51 of Roadie Free Radio. If you're just tuning in for the first time, you haven't watched this before, I record my intro to the show, Roadie Free Radio, the podcast, just the intro portion, and then you can click the link for SoundCloud in the description below, and that will take you to the full episode that you can listen to. Um, but because it's a behind-the-scenes show, I thought it'd be cool for everybody to see sort of how I do what I do and uh, make this thing happen. So I've got Adobe Audition going on here. I've got a, uh, my Word document open with my show notes over here. I've got an iPad hooked up to the GoPro to control that bad boy and um, various other things like my tea over here because I'm a little sick. So anyway, here we go. Should we start it off? Let's do this. Hopefully I won't screw it up and have to do it again. All right. What's up, roadies? This is Charlie Carp. This is John O'Manson. What's happening, roadies? This is Eric Amble, and you're listening to Roadie Free Radio. What's up, roadies? My name is Larry Milburn, and this is Roadie Free Radio, your VIP pass to meet and greet the stars behind the scenes of the music and film business. What's happening, roadies? Welcome to episode number 51. I am your host, Larry Milburn. This is Roadie Free Radio. I am coming at you from a barn. A barn in Northwest Connecticut it is goddamn good to be back in the seat, back on the mic after a week or so off because we did the show. Where did we do it from, folks? Daryl's house in Pauling, New York, episode number 50. As you know, unless you were living under a rock, okay, for the last month, you would know that we had episode 50 last week with our special guests, Bill Hanley and John Kane. Bill Hanley, of course. Front of house sound engineer for the Beatles, the Beach Boys, and the Woodstock Festival of 1969. Listen, uh, you know, I've had a little time to reflect since that episode uh, and to think about the show. It's only been a week of reflection anyway, but listen, again, I said it a lot. I'm going to say it again. Thank you guys to my audience for listening, for sticking with the show. 50 episodes, man. It's crazy. Of course, now 51, but, you know, it's it's been awesome. I've learned a tremendous amount about podcasting, about producing and hosting a podcast, and as well about the music and film business. You know, a lot of stuff I thought I knew, a lot of stuff that I'm learning as I go from these amazing people that have, have um, offered up their time to be guests on the show. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you're learning something as well. And that, that is my hope, my wish, and I think I am succeeding on that level based on the feedback that I get on the show and all that good stuff. It was so super cool to be sitting with Bill and John Kane uh, to do this episode and here's one little cool factoid thing I'll leave you with from, from that day. And that is, and I really encourage you, if you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't watched it on YouTube, just go to the Roadie Free Radio YouTube channel and uh, episode 50 is there. You can watch it. And again, I want to thank my crew real quick, Paloma Criollo, Harris McCullers, Adam Ben. You guys are awesome. We had a small little audience there um, who was tuning in as well. And um, anyway, you know, here, here's the cool thing about it. So here's Bill Hanley, right, who he basically, as I say in the interview and we talk about, he's the guy who decided to move the position of the soundboard out to the front of the house so that he could hear the bands better, better and make um, the appropriate adjustments for the band and, and for the audience. He did that. He also kind of created the footlight monitor system, what we now know as monitors for bands to be able to hear themselves. So very cool stuff. He basically, uh, he, he came up with all those things. And so here we are, we're starting the interview. And I look over on the floor on a case and there's an iPad with the mixer pulled up because Peter Moshe, the sound guy for Daryl's house was using that to run the front of house sound at Daryl's house. And that's what it's come to. So it was this crazy sort of confluence of, um, of technologies coming together, you know, right there where I've got, 
one of the originators of live sound reinforcing reinforcements and the technology has advanced so far that it's now sitting on an iPad that you can control all the audio. Now listen, next week, episode number 52, we are going to take that about 50 steps farther when my guest is senior lead audio specialist, instructor for Avid, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, longtime 23-year front of house sound engineer Robert Scoville. Okay, he's like, if Bill is likened to being the father of festival sound, Robert Scoville is kind of considered the father of digital audio for front of house. Unbelievable episode. Stay tuned for that one. All right. So thank you again, everybody. Episode 50. Go back, check it out if you have not already. Um, Also, we have officially launched a Patreon account. What is Patreon? Think of Patreon as an ongoing Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign. But this way you can subscribe to Roadie Free Radio every month uh, with a small donation. could be a buck. It could be five bucks, 20 bucks, whatever you're comfortable with every month that helps us run the show. It doesn't take a lot to run the show, but you would be surprised at the amount of things that start adding up between SoundCloud accounts and YouTube accounts and drives and all this kind of stuff. But most importantly, a lot of the travel starts to add up when I'm on the road doing these interviews and whatnot and gas and tolls and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, your bucks help us out. In uh, in uh, thank you for those bucks, we have some cool rewards packages. I'm going to be offering some more cool rewards as we and we also have um, some goals that we're trying to reach that you can read about. So if you just go to Patreon, that's P A T R E O N Patreon dot com forward slash Roadie Free Radio. Uh, you will see everything there. I've got to do a video for it. I haven't a quite really officially launched, but this is kind of the official launch. I have to do a video announcing the campaign and talking about it, which I will be doing um, as soon as I get a free moment to do that. So anyway, that is, um, that's is—that's what's going on with that. Patreon.com forward slash Roadie Free Radio. We are also partnering up with soundgirls.org. You may remember we've had a few sound girls on the show. Carrie Kyes has been on the show. She's the founder of Sound Girls. Uh, Becky Pell, Fela Davis. There might be one more. Oh, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel Ryan, Mr. Sound Lady, of course. How could I forget? Amazing women in this field of live sound. Soundgirls.org is hosting a sound camp. In Brooklyn, August 14th through 18th at the Paper Box. That's August 14th through 18th in Brooklyn at the Paper Box. It is basically a camp for young women between the ages of 12 to 18 uh, to teach them, mentor them, educate them into the world of live audio sound. Basically, they spend a week working in an actual live venue, learning all the ins and outs of patching and monitoring and front of house and EQ, all kinds of awesome stuff. And at the end of the week, they get to actually run and take care of a real live band from start to finish. So a very cool thing. We're partnering with them. I'm going to do a video, a couple of videos uh, leading up to the event, and then we're going to be there on site to uh, capture some cool stuff as well so you guys can see it. And what else are we doing for them? I don't know. That's about it. That's a lot of stuff. We're going to have a good time with them, and uh, we're super psyched. So go to soundgirls.org. I think their fundraiser may still be going. They offer scholarships. If you have a daughter, a niece, a cousin, uh, whatever you got, young woman between 12 and 18 who wants to learn about live audio, this is the place to do it. Soundgirls.org. Check it out. All right. Let's get to today's episode. One last thing. It was an amazing week, okay? First of all, the week started. I had a job. Monday night, I had to shoot. Tuesday, I had a killer interview with today's guest, Eric Amble. Wednesday, I was at the Tom Petty Show at the Xfinity Center in Hartford, where I interviewed Robert Scoville. Saturday night, I went back to Daryl's house to see the Whalers with my wife, which was amazing. The Whalen Whalers, man. Donald Kinsey, original member, playing guitar. Really a fantastic time. All right, so there we go. I'm tired, I'm sick, it's raining, it's hot. Let's get to the show. All right, so here it is. Today's guest is my buddy, Eric Amble. I went and met with Eric at his apartment in Brooklyn. 
Super sweet guy. If you don't know Eric, guess what? He was one of the original members of Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, okay? Original guys in that band way back. He cut his teeth in the streets of L.A. and New York. He owned the famous Lakeside Lounge in Manhattan, all right, in the village. He's played with the Dell Lords, the Yahoos. He owns a recording studio. He's a producer. He owns Cowboy Technical Recording Services over in Greenpoint. They have produced and recorded the likes of Ryan Adams. All right, Chris Barron from the Spin Doctors. He's got an amazing guitar collection. And I want to tell you something else. We could have gone down any number of rabbit holes, but we didn't. We bounced around. And I'm a, I'm a slightly bummed by that because there was so much to bite off with him that I just couldn't get to all of it. But here's the cool part. If you go to ericamble.com, he has an extensive, extensive list of the gear that he uses, why he uses it, and where you can get it. And the coolest part is at the end of that page, he gives a huge thank you to his guitar techs along the way and the roadies that helped him out. He's very appreciative of their work, which I appreciate that he's appreciative of that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what else? There was one more thing about Eric I was just going to tell you about, a little tidbit. I don't know. I forgot it. That's what happens. Age. Age catches up, man. Age and all these shows. You know what I'm saying? All right, listen. Relax. Kick back. Oh, God, I forgot. Father's Day. Did you guys have a good Father's Day? See, I'm all over the place, man. It's been a big week. I was sick. Things are going on. I had a nice Father's Day with the exception of the fact that I was sick. I felt well celebrated. My son came, yelled at me, wiped his greasy, grimy food fingers all over me. It was pleasant. and uh, But I really had a great time. Everyone, everyone tried to take care of me yesterday. I hope you guys had a fantastic, fantastic Father's Day weekend. And you feel celebrated. I know I did. All right. Eric Amble, my friends. Enjoy. Okay. YouTubers, you may notice some jump cuts, all right? I'm going to tell you what that's about. I'm sick, as you heard me mention. I had to stop and cough 8 million times. I didn't want you guys to notice that. It's disgusting. And I'm sweating on myself because it's so damn humid. So, listen, I didn't say that this show was going to be pretty, all right? It ain't. It's going to be rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? All right, listen, if you want to listen to the whole episode, pop down, hit the link for SoundCloud. It'll take you to the full episode. If you like watching me make a fool out of myself doing these episodes, hit the like button. If you want to get notified when more stuff from us comes out, hit the subscribe button. The little bell goes ding dong, ding dong on your phone. You find out about the episode. All right? So keep tuning in. Keep to, just keep coming back. It works. It feels good. All right? We'll see you next time. No roadies, no rock and roll.